Okay, here's how to get the best deal on the Rainbow vacuum cleaner. Um, as you can see here, I have almost every attachment that they offer. I even have a extra large, uh, oh, a one gallon canister here versus the half gallon that comes with it. Um, the Aquamate, this is the rain jet, the mini jets down there. I have all the attachments here. I have something here for the stairs. Um, again, I have every attachment you can think of. I even have the, I think it's an eight or nine foot hose um, that, that, um, that they do not offer straight out the box. But here's how I did it. What you do when the salesman comes and he sells you this product, you basically you go ahead and buy the product. He's going to try to hold all of these parts hostage. He's going to tell you that in order you have to earn these. But guess what? I paid $2,600 here in Atlanta for this uh, vacuum cleaner. $2,600? I think I've already bought all of these, even though they hold them hostage and say, if you refer me to friends and take me to somebody's house and we'll give you those. You earn those already by paying $2,600. So what happened is you have about three days to get out of any contract. So on the second or third day of the contract, which I think you have three days again to get out, on the third day, you can call the salesman and say, I want to turn all this stuff in. I want to turn the vacuum cleaner in because initially all you're going to get is the vacuum cleaner and the, and the holes and the, um, and the carpet. Uh, of course, the vacuum cleaner piece here. Um, tell them that you want to get a refund on everything unless they give you the Aquamate, the Rain Jet, the Mini Jet, all of the carpet kink cleaning, the whole entire system or you'll turn it back in. I guarantee you, without a doubt, they will give you everything you ask for because they don't want to lose that sale. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. And by the way, you're probably wondering, what do I think about it? Does it work? Well, I, I think it works. I think it actually does what it's, it's going to do. I think it actually filters the dust out of the air. And what I mean when I say that, I mean it... When you're using it, you're not kicking dust back into the air because the water system that go the water you fill up in there is actually stopping a lot of the dust and most of the dust, if not all. If you look at the mechanism once you get it, you'll see that the water the water comes to the level of this down here. The water is sitting here. So as soon as the air flow coming from your carpet or wherever it goes straight into the water without hitting anything else. So when dust hit water, it turns into basically mud. Mud can't fly. Mud is heavy. So nothing comes back out um, on the other end where the exhaust is, which is here. The air is shooting out here. There's no dust whatsoever coming out of there. Um, I think it works, but I'm, I've never been a person with allergies. So if you're a person with allergies, I think it's a must-have vacuum. But if you're not a person with allergies, you probably could go with one of those more expensive um, brands uh, like Dyson's or whatever and, and, and not have to worry about this. I went on and purchased it because of the warranty and I think it'll last me for years. Um, but I don't have major allergy. I don't have any allergy problems, nor does anyone in my family. So it's not a must have. But if you want to keep dust from floating in the air while you're vacuuming, it's something you want to look into.